Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our house tour. So last time we showed you the downstairs, showed you all the differences and the changes we've made. I spoke a little bit about why I've chosen certain products and colors, etc. And now we're gonna go on upstairs. So hope you enjoy. So now I'm gonna show you baby girl's room, the princess of the house. This is Naya Rose's room. Now Naya is very opinionated, very strong-willed, very dramatic, nothing like me. So when it came to designing her room, I had to collaborate with her. It was a bit like collaborating with the dictator at times, but she very firmly said she wanted pink. Now, I like pink, but not the pink that she chose. So we've compromised. So again, on the wall, I've gone for um, Farrow and Ball called Great White. And I used it in her nursery before. And it's a very kind of, very, very light kind of purpley gray tones, which she likes. And then we've obviously gone for, this is um, French linen. Um, pink curtains. Um, Naya is very creative. Around the house, you win a prize if you get to spot all 10 of Naya's little drawings and paintings around the house. Um, she's a bit like a ninja. I think she actually gets up in the middle of the night and just scribbles. So the carpet is made from recycled plastic bottles found in the ocean. It's a company called Sedna and I'm not sponsored by them. I just really want to try and use as many eco friendly recycled products as possible in the house because obviously building a house has a big carbon footprint and quite a negative impact on our environment so I really wanted to try and reuse materials where I could so I did a lot of research and this company I was so delighted when I found them it feels super soft it actually feels like silk and um, they have a range of different colors the underlay is recycled tires um, car tires and truck tires. So yeah, I'm just super happy with that. And obviously Farron Ball has the non-toxic paint, which is good for her as well. I'm gonna show you this room. This is one of the guest bedrooms. Okay, so this was Luca's room. I don't know if you remember the plans from before. This was actually gonna be Luca's room. So the color on the wall is light blue by Farrow and Ball again. Um, the carpet is again um, for the Sedna range, same as Naya Rose's room. Again, French linen curtains and his secret room, which I think I must have spent about two months designing in the secret bookcase door. But now it's Andrew's office. <laughs> this is a sound insulated, beautiful room and I was so excited, but Luca was in here and he didn't like it. He wanted to be upstairs with his brother and he just felt, I don't know, he said there was a ghost in here. Not sure if there was or not, but um, yeah. Interesting fact, John Le Carre, the author who wrote Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy was born in this house and he died on the same day we moved in. Freaky or what? Building the house, we kind of went over budget just a little bit, but we couldn't actually afford to put in um, the crown moldings, which I really like. Um, so we decided to do a very clever paint technique, which was to bring the color a little bit further down and to have the white to give a little bit of a, a difference. So it's a good tip if you wanna add a bit of depth to a room and yeah, a bit of contrast. This is the family bathroom. This was gonna be for Luca and Naya. So I got them double sinks. We used the Farron Ball light blue on the walls. Um, the tiles, they're all like texture. They're a bit wavy. Um, the, these tiles here, I love. The texture feels amazing. These are from, these are from Topps Tiles actually. These tiles are from Paul Villanosa. And I think I must have spent hours like just touching and feeling. And the guy thought I was crazy. I was like, no, I have very sensory orientated children. Luca is very sensory orientated as well in, in terms of texture. So it kind of gives again, a nice bit of depth. I think depth is my new word. <laughs> Welcome to my room, come on in.
So this is my room. I've got the same kind of curtains as uh, Luca has. I have washed linen on the walls. And this is sea foam from Little Green Company. I love the paneling. I wanted to put the paneling in because again, it gives a little bit of something something. And I love my room. You know, it's, it's, it's stressful being a mom. This is, this is where I would like to say I come and relax. But most nights I have Dylan in the bed with me despite the fact I've made him an apartment upstairs, he's still in the bed with me. Uh, but no, it's super cozy in here and I love it. I have the bath in the room. I love my bath in the room. And this bath is huge. Look, we feel like two people in here. It's, um, yeah, it's amazing. And then into my bathroom. So my bathroom, we got the vanity unit from Neptune, again in Hove. I love marble, but didn't want to have it all so bling bling. So I wanted to kind of mix it with the subway tiles, which again, everyone thought I was crazy, but um, I think it's turned out pretty good. So yeah, I've got a nice big double shower in there, which is very luxurious and it's usually just me in there. <laughs> so, but no, it looks really good, I think. Okay, so now we're on the top floor and this is where the boys are. This is our hanging chair, which will go up there. I haven't quite got around to that yet. Uh, we have the wall lights here. They're from Wayfair. The color on the walls, which is pretty much throughout the whole house, is washed linen um, by a Little Green Company. This is, well, it's now gonna be Luca's bathroom. So now he's decided to change. I'm now in the process of doing this. The unit is from Tika Moon. Tika Moon is the best website. I love it. A lot of stuff comes from Bali. It's all reclaimed teak wood. Funny story about the sink. I'm gonna be honest with you. I may have had a few glasses of wine one night and decided to do some online shopping for the house. And I saw a pink concrete sink and I thought I need a pink concrete sink. So I spent a bit too much money on it. Sorry. Uh, it turned up. It was bigger and pinker than I imagined. And when we opened it, everyone made fun of me and said I had a candy floss machine. I actually really like it though. I think, I think I'm making it work. <laughs> this room in here is the guest room. It's not quite finished, so I might show you that next time. So this used to be the games room. It is now Luca's bedroom and he loves it. He loves the fact that the ceiling slopes down a bit and it's a bit more cozier for him. The color on the wall is light blue from Fire and Ball mixed with the washed linen. We have some linen organic sheets from H&M which are super soft and I love them. This rug is from Loaf. Oh, that I found on the side of a street and I painted it. It's not too bad. I'm going for the rustic look. And then obviously he has his wobble board in here, which you've seen before, and he loves his sea creatures. So yeah, it's, he's super happy in here, which is great. So now I'm gonna take you to Dylan's room. So come on in. This room has probably had the most thought in it. The walls are double insulated, basically soundproofed. My bedroom is directly below Dylan, and we have something called a drop ceiling. They use it in hotels. Basically, they've got like a false ceiling and then the real ceiling, so it absorbs some of the sound. And that's because Dylan can be quite noisy. Also because he has his trampoline, which you've seen many times, and any parent asks me, what should I get my child? How is it gonna help them with their moods, outbursts, if your child, you know, is prone to lashing out, redirect them onto this thing and just get them to bounce. And he's got this so he can hold it and he has the most amazing view of the garden. He knows now himself how to self-regulate himself. Dylan loves anything vintage, by the way, which is hilarious. So we got him this vintage radio and he puts his music on. Usually it's like techno based, not really my style of music, but he loves it. So he puts his techno-based music on, he stands here and he jumps, and he does that about six times a day or whenever he's feeling anxious. So we double plasterboarded the walls and put some sound insulation boards in the middle and then the drop ceiling. 
Um, we have wooden flooring in here because um, I think I mentioned last year that Dylan sometimes goes through phases, as they all do, and one of his phases was spitting on the floor, which was a logistical nightmare for carpets. So because of that, we put some nice big rugs on the floor. This one is actually just from Ikea. It's a really nice wool carpet, and that's from the White Company because he still loves his stars. When we designed this room, thought about Dylan as a teenager, you know, he's gonna find it hard going out and about, so we wanted our house to be where everyone came and hung out, so obviously he has like his foosball table, his piano, he loves playing the piano. Um, no Mozart, not yet, but you know, he's got potential. Obviously his gaming chair, I got his gaming chair from just Amazon. And now I'm gonna show you his bathroom, which I love. This sink is basically a stone cut in half. It's from uh, Tika Moon. When we went to Dubai, he saw these taps, these waterfall taps. So I searched and searched to find waterfall taps for here and for the bath. This unit here again is reclaimed wood from Tika Moon. The color is light blue on the walls again from Farron Ball. Again, these are from the Porcelanosa again, and it's the texture of them. He just loves it, gives it a little bit of something something. Dylan loves having baths. And Andrew said, did you measure the bath? Is it gonna get up the stairs? And I went, yeah, yeah, it's gonna get up the stairs. It didn't get up the stairs. We had to crane it in from the roof. Um, it's huge. We put the step there because Dylan can sometimes be a bit unstable on his legs. He can be a bit wobbly sometimes and his core strength isn't great and he tiptoe walks. So what we did is we put a step in here with some lights so it's not as big as jump for him so he can hang onto the wall. He can watch his TV in here and he can sit and relax and I know that he is safe. Okay guys, that wraps up our house tour. I really hope that you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or wanna ask where I got anything from, please do leave me a comment below. I'm also on Instagram at Tara Leniston. I am on Instagram a lot more. It's kind of easier to reply on there. So you can always catch me on there and I'm always posting new photographs of the house on there as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do subscribe um, because we're gonna be uploading a little bit more sporadically this time, but Dylan wants to kind of pop in there with a few videos here and there. So ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time we post a new video. So that's it guys, we'll, we'll see you next time. How does it feel, Rosie, to be an autism support dog? Well, it's sometimes hard work because I get pulled, I get kissed, I get fed lots of food and sometimes it's a bit scary and people get a bit loud but I just lick my way through it. <laughs> Never work with animals and children. Goodbye.